piping system designers would be delighted to hear about the great new enhancement introduced in SolidWorks Routine 2013. Let's take a look at this piping assembly to see some examples. A slope can now be easily added to an existing route to create a gravity-based drainage pipe. After selecting the gravity plane and the start point, you can define the slope value. The pipe segments are automatically cut and adjusted to prevent gaps between pipes and flanges. In addition, the slope value is saved as a property and can be used in annotations. A new option in the Auto Tools lets you create pipes along an existing geometry, which is extremely useful for routing pipes in closed and tight environments. You simply need to select a start point and collect planar faces to define the path of the route. Each face that is selected will add an additional line segment to the route until you pick an endpoint. Also, the dimensions between the segments and the selected geometry can be specified for each entity. You don't need to add components, rotate the assembly, or zoom in and out. This way, it's a lot easier and quicker to create the perfect route. Intricate hydraulic or pneumatic tubing systems can also be designed with SOLIDWORKS. However, depending on the complexity and the scope of the project, it can be hard and time-consuming. That's why, to really help out system designers, SOLIDWORKS 2013 now supports PNID data for tubing. The tubing systems to process are listed along with the usual list of equipment and piping systems. Let's go ahead and place some of the fittings. All the necessary information is included in the PNID file, meaning that you can start placing the fitting instantly without having to search for a file or browse a directory. The tubing components simply snap into place, and you only need a couple of seconds to position them precisely. Once all the fittings are inserted, the filtered connection dialog box shows all the remaining tube sections using guidelines, which can be turned into real tubes. Of course, each possible solution can be explored using the right mouse button. We can do the same with other tube routes. Components that have already been inserted, like the main equipment, or some of the flanges are flagged in green in the P90 tab, so you're always aware of what's left to do. Inline fittings like this T can be rotated to the desired angle using the keyboard. Then, the guidelines are shown as before and can be converted right from the graphic area. In a very short time, you can complete the layout of this tubing system and take advantage of the other introduced SOLIDWORKS tools to define spool or generate manufacturing drawings. Manually creating tubing drawings is a tedious task, but the new tube drawing feature automates this process with a single mouse click. You can choose to include the spools, bills of materials, or dimensions. And with very little effort, accurate and up-to-date tubing manufacturing drawings are ready to be sent to the shop floor. With unique new features, SOLIDWORKS 2013 not only streamlines the routing process, but also offers more capabilities than ever before to help design piping and tubing systems.